Welcome to Lianka's channel. Today I'm going to do the dragon from a good dinosaur. It could be a snake, it could be a dragon, it could be um, a lizard. It also could be a girl's version and boy's version. So I thought it's a um, good design to know how to do. Let's get started. I'm loading a flat brush with a yellow color, adding a little bit of yellow, painting two lines across and then connecting them with one more. Two lines again on the side, this is the um, top part of the mouth and the bottom part. With the red on the outer side, I'm painting the body. I'm then pulling the body out around my eyes to create a mask. I'm flipping my brush at the sides of the eyes, so my red is still at the top. Yellow part is going to be a belly. And I'm finishing up with a thinner tail. I'm also doing tongue of a snake. I'm loading flat 12 with orange and red and yellow goes in the middle of the body. If you're in a hurry you can just use yellow and also paint, it, paint the eyes and that would be you don't have to go around the body. Next part is doing the small corners for the hands and then half circles for the feet. I'm filling in the mouth area with black leaving the place for the teeth. Um, you can paint it over but then it will be more difficult to uh, to place white on the top. I washed and dried my brush to create a shadow here. I forgot to do my cheeks so I'm doing it now and then it's time for outlining. To create a nice lines, remember to uh, do the thick and thin lines. Um, so I would start with a thin or with a teardrop and then pulling it out with a thin, uh, nice line. Now it's time for hands and I'm just outlining them with black. I'm outlining the belly with curvy lines, which creates a 3D effect. Here I'm using stencil to add scales to the snake's body, but um, I did it with brown and wasn't quite visible, so I added yellow, sorry, I added white at the end. It would be equally well to use just black as well. And then I'm finishing off by outlining the whole body of the snake with black. I'm adding black lines coming out of the belly, so it, I'm painting them only at the bottom of the snake's body. To create a nice tiny point, I'm flicking my brush up, kind of pulling it out of my face. I was trying to create a bearded dragon look and added these spikes to the head of the snake and then I took the white brush, the same that I used before, I just smudged it down but I think it will be good enough without them as well. Next step is highlighting and outlining the snake's head and body. So I'm adding hi highlights to the old parts that will be sticking out in real life. And also coloring teeth with white and uh, at the top I'm adding another row of teeth which are pointing inwards. If you want to enchant the eye look, I, I added the green and then a bit highlighted around them. The snake is finished, and, but if you want to enhance the design, you can shadow this with star blends. It doesn't take much time, but that adds a lot of effect. I didn't want my design to look too empty, so I added some leaves and berries. Since, well, normally I would do berries red, but since the snake is red, I, I did them plum, I think it's plum. And the same, I'm outlining them at the bottom with black and at the top, you can, if you're in a hurry, you can put just a white dot or you can outline them on the other side with white. I didn't want to switch brushes with white, so I just used my thick number six brush. It would be much easier to use number two. 
And as I said before, I will add a white stencil, the same stencil that I used before for brown, but now it's white. And I've added these teardrops on one side for a girl's or a tribal design for boys. And that's my design complete. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have any questions, please ask in comments below. And um, like this video and subscribe to see more videos from me. See you next time. Bye!